Brock the Yahawa, Brock the Yahawa Shai, Brock the Yahawa, Brock the Yahawa Shai, Brock the Yahawa, Brock the Yahawa Shai. O praise unto Yahweh, Bashi Me Hashai, Wa Rokakadash, Double Onas and Three Apostles, a great millstone. On she brothers to be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. So this is going to be a video, and I'm going to call this video, um, I'm going to call this video when we rule the world. Um, there will be um, something, to, something to the effect of peace or, or righteousness established. Um, um, something like that. Okay, I'll find the right wording for it uh, once I've um, once I once I upload um, the video. So pretty much, um, I'm gonna start this video, and this is a, like a part two, and I might do part three, part four, part five, and all depending on how the spirit uh, has it to where I, I, I do it. Um, but what you find out from the scriptures is, and this is really this this precept I have here. Um, this is what people call the second covenant. This is what they're really talking about. This is what he's really talking about. All right. The second covenant is when the Israelites, all right, the, the children of Israel, which is the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, and the Israelites scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, receive, um, the, the, receive the law, statutes, commandments within their minds. Okay. Because when you go into the scriptures, all right, the scripture says that the creature was made subject unto vanity. All right, if I just quickly um, jot that out and then I'll pull up the scripture. So this is the book of Romans. Oh, so that's, uh, that's, uh, that's the same scripture, right? So that's beautiful. So let's start here, Romans. Um, I could start from Romans 17, 8 and 17, right? So it says, if we be children, Yasharal, right? We're the children of he, the prince with the power. What's a prince? A prince is the son of a king. If we, if the children then, heirs, heirs of the Most High, and joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, so the scriptures there is basically saying that we're gonna be kind of on the same level, or we're gonna be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, right now. The scripture talks about the order, how the the, the Most High is at the top, Yahweh Shai is second to him, right? Uh, uh, King David and so on and so forth, but we're joint heirs. We've got the same, same, in, same inheritance, which is the rulership of the world. Um, if you go into the scriptures, you read the scriptures of um, Yahweh Shai, right? How is he going to have a, a scepter, which is which a scepter uh, is is a rod, a uh, rod like instrument that symbolizes um, power, a power over the nations, right? So that was given unto Yahweh Shai, but also too, when you go into the book of Revelations two twenty five, it says that he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, which is the men of the Lord pushing this word. He that keepeth my works unto the end, okay, to him with the more sight, how about she may also give power over the nations, all right, and he shall rule them with a rod of anger, uh, with a rod of uh, uh, correction. Uh, he shall rule them all over them, all right, with a rod, right, which is that same scepter, right, figuratively and literally speaking. So it says that if we if we're children, then as as of the more sight and joint as with Yahweh Shai Mashiach, it shall be that we suffer with him. That we may be also glorified together. So, when you check out what happened to you, the, the Lord, and the Scripture says that the servant's not greater than the master. The servant is 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 beneath the master. All right. So so if the if the master suffered, or which your outside suffered, at the hands of his own people, and that's what you're gonna find out. The worst the worst people the worst re people when it comes to this truth. The worst people is really our own people, because the Scripture says that. And now let's not get it twisted. This is not like uh, 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 the times of the Romans when the, because now Esau really wants to push his thing on the new world order. So they're going to come down having great wrath pursuant to the book of Revelations 12 and 12. But the scripture says that the rulers are not, ter the rulers are not a terror to good works. So for the most part, especially on your day-to-day, -day, your so-called day-to-day walk, you're going to find out that Esau don't really be messing with you like that, man. But your own people, they're like your, you know, your second worst enemy because your first worst enemy is yourself. And I believe I did a video on that in the past. But really, if I get a chance to sit down and go through some nice scriptures, I'll do that and go into a video. And I've got to really do some more videos that are more uh, in-depth. Uh, so continuing here, it says, uh, If we be children, then heirs, and heirs of the Mosai, then joint heirs, we have Shai Mashiach. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. So the Lord suffered, so we got to suffer. But when the Lord's glorified, guess what? We, the children, the joint heirs, are going to be glorified too. 
Remember what the scripture says. The scripture says that um, the scripture says how um, if we be dead in your house, then uh, uh, um, when the Lord is raised up, we're going to be raised up too. That is to say, in this world, you got people out here that are living it up, man. Okay, that living it up. Now, you got brothers that are doing all right. But the thing about this truth, you're, you're uh, 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 broke by association. Okay, I, I like that term because that's a term I, I, I like using in my, you know, my day-to-day -day walk. Because you might have £10 in your pocket, but you're going to take care of the family. There's a situation there. Okay, but if you check out these other, you know, the people in the world, their situation, it's all, it's all about self, man. Okay, and they're so-called doing their thing. So they're alive to this world, right? That's what the scripture says. They're alive to this world. But we're dead to this world because we got uh, uh, obligations that we're going to take care of. First and foremost, this truth and whatever predicament that Yahweh Hashim al may put you in, all right, to make your walk, okay, a walk that's going to be difficult because the scripture says, enter ye at the straight gate, which is a difficult path, right? So it says, so So if you if you consider that we're dead now, well, guess what? If we're joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, when Yahweh Shai rules, he was the Lord said he was going to give him the nations as his uh, as his prize, right? As his inheritance. So we're gonna have the we're gonna have an inheritance power over the nations too. Okay, that's what we're gonna have too, man. And I did, you know, you go to the, the previous video. I think I was going into the thing of slavery, but it goes deep, deeper than that. Rulership is not just a thing of having women. Rulership is talking about managing water. Okay, a lot of brothers they don't, you know, they don't be thinking of that. You gotta manage how water is. You know, you, when you take a shit, all right, there's a, they, I mean, you know, we don't know how we're going to do it. But when you take a shit in this kingdom, you use, you flush away with water, right? Well, the water, is, there's a process to where the, that water is going to return back in the tap. Okay? So you got to manage water. You got to manage the animals. You got to manage the, the grass, the vegetation. And that was, and, and also to the people, which is the us, you know, un, so-called unique resources, the people that are on it, the heathen. Of which the Lord gave that unto Yahweh Shai to rule over. I think it's in the book of Revelations, the ninth chapter. It might not be, maybe Revelations, the sixth chapter, where it says, um, um, Yahweh Shai came having many crowns upon his head. And that's the kings that he's going to take over. So it's not going to be like a, a, like, you know, when you check out the, the history, when you had a conqueror like Alexander the Great, he conquered what? He conquered like one, he conquered, bro, he conquered the whole known world. So it was like he had many crowns upon his head. And after he, him, what, did, what happened? His generals put crowns on themselves. So when your house side comes, he's going to conquer the whole world. And he's going to put a crown on his head. And he's also going to give the crown to what? To his men, because we're going to be joint heirs with him. All right. So continuing and um, moving further to my point. It says, for I reckon that the suffering of this present time, uh, the sufferings of this present times are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Right. For the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of the sun. For the creature, which is us, was made subject to vanity, not willing, but by reason of him that hath subjugated him the same in hope. That is to say, the Mosai created the creature subject unto vanity so that his word might be fulfilled. Because <laughs> we're all just robots here. We're just carrying out the will of Yahweh Hashim Yahweh man. You might, you know, be feeling yourself or whatever, whatever. But guess what? The Mosai said that what? He hardened, he hardened Pharaoh's mind. So even with a, like a thing like Pharaoh chose to be proud because the Mosai put it within Pharaoh's mind to get proud, man. The Mosai controls everything. That's why he's called the Most High, okay? So he created this creature, us, subject unto vanity, which is evil, right? So we was always going to go off to the end that this scripture might be uh, fulfilled here, the book of Hebrews 8 and 8. It says, so then... Uh, I don't know, so Romans. So so now we can go into the book of Hebrews 8 and 8, right? So this scripture could be fulfilled. So <coughs> for finding fault with them, which is a fault that he put in there, right? He saith, Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Jacob, not according to the covenant that I made with their fa fathers, right? In that day, or in the day when I took them out of the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt because they continued not in that covenant because he made, he created this creature subject unto vanity and I regarded them not, saith the Lord, for this is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel, right? In those day, after those days, saith the Lord, I'll put my laws into their mind and I put my, I'll put my laws into their hearts, brother, right? and I will, I'll be to them a people and they shall be to me a people. I, I shall be to them a, a God and they shall be to me a people. Okay, so... Pretty much from that, you should be what you should be able to understand is 
The major difference that the Most High is going to put upon us is that what? That he's going to make us perfect. And in being perfect, when we rule, the earth is going to be at rest because there's not going to be any need, okay, for judgments to be playing out, okay, for, uh, 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 for evils to be within the earth, all right? Um, uh, what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is plagues. The scripture says that what? This, the, um, the wages of sin is death. But guess what? When, when, when there is no sin, there is no death. All right? So that's a, that's, a, that's a thing to think about right there. So pretty much with that, I'm going to say, Oh, praise unto you, Abba Shimei, Asha'i, Wohai, Rukha, Kadash. Double honors unto the apostles, a great millstone. Honest you brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom.